Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we're gonna cover um, which, which software to use for your geospatial analysis, ArcGIS or QGIS. You might be, um, you know, in a dilemma whether to use a QGIS or ArcGIS for your project. And, you know, knowing the advantage and disadvantage um, based on different functionalities and use cases will help you make a smart and informed decision. So let's get started. So the first thing is, um, so it, you know, to start with, uh, you know, the choice is yours. And then depending on the use case that you're, 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 you're having uh, in your project or analysis, but both have their own advantage and disadvantage. So you, you can, once you're done with this, you know, uh, list of um, use cases and uh, uh, utilities, um, you, can, you can make a decision at the end, but let's get started. So the first one is cost, right? So in terms of cost, you know, QGIS is an open source software, which means it's totally free. So you can, you know, go ahead and download and then um, start uh, analyzing without paying anything. So that's the, the biggest advantage to QGIS. It's an open source software uh, and there are no licensing unlike ArcGIS Pro. And so it's, it's, it's pretty cost effective, um, you know, for be it individuals or, you know, large uh, organizations, uh, whatnot. Uh, especially in terms of you know budget constraints whatnot and so uh, on the other hand the ArcGIS Pro is a commercial software and you need uh, a license to uh, use the software so uh, you know that's one of the downsides of ArcGIS you know you need to make pay to use the software and the software is owned by history uh, so the company behind the ArcGIS product um, uh, since ArcView uh, and different versions of ArcGIS desktop, and now it's um, uh, ArcGIS Pro, right? Um, so there are you know various licensing options uh, based on your use case and the size of your, your organization, right? So that's cost, right? Number two is functionality, right? So QGIS is a you know powerful and a feature-rich geospatial analysis. Uh, desktop platform uh, which provides a variety of you know tools and plugins so because the fact that it's open source you have you know numerous um, plugins that you know uh, fast track uh, your analysis um, and, and there's a large community that supports this open source uh, plugin and tools and whatnot so uh, and it also supports a variety of data formats and it has a vast majority of, um, you know, capabilities uh, for geospatial data analysis, be it, you know, generating maps and editing, uh, editing geospatial data or, or a layer or whatnot. And in terms of ArcGIS Pro, um, with respect to functionality, um, you know, ArcGIS is part of the S3 ArcGIS platform um, and it, it offers a comprehensive geospatial functionality, right? And it it, it, it integrates well with other, you know, history products, uh, uh, you know, be it ArcGIS Online and other other services. Um, and so there's still an advantage to in terms of functionality with respect to ArcGIS. So both have, um, you know, their own advantage in, in terms of functionality. Um, a user interface, uh, QGIS has a pretty, you know, user-friendly um, interface, graphical user interface, uh, and then many people find it pretty much easy um, kind of to uh, navigate, right? Um, and you can customize the, inter the UI graphic user interface, um, you know, so users can change the user interface, how you can, um, uh, um, how the user interface looks like you can the fact that users can customize is really a plus here uh, with respect to ArcGIS Pro um, it, you know it has a modern and intuitive interface um, and so it, it's designed to be part of the ArcGIS ecosystem um, with you know, so ArcGIS Pro is one product, one, one, one of the S3 products, but there are a number of other S3 products. So ArcGIS, you know, is designed to 
uh, they integrated to other you know history products um, um, so and th you know th that's a plus um, and fourth is community and support right so QGIS um, has a very large you know community uh, that supports um, you know updates and whatnot um, so that the, the user community and there's also a developer community right uh, and there are forums and you know conferences and tutorials available um, for support so th the fact that it's open source um, there is a lot of um, um, community you know contribution to, to, to the software so th th that's a, a plus for QGIS in terms of ArcGIS Pro, uh, community-wise, um, you know, Istri provides a pretty good um, support for their product, even though it's a commercial um, a product. Um, they have a pretty good documentation and annual forum uh, for users and developers and whatnot, so pretty good, um, solid support. Uh, however, um, the fact that this is a commercial product, um, you know, the community involvement um, is different from the QGIS open source, you know, project, right? Um, the, the fifth um, item uh, in terms of whether QGIS or ArcGIS Pro is that, so QGIS, um, uh, you know, in terms of integration, uh, it you know QGIS can work well with other um, d multiple other data formats you know uh, and it also you know provides a variety of plugins so when you talk about plugins I think QGIS is a winner here um, there is an open source community of developers that support um, you know QGIS open source um, uh, plugins, QGIS plugin, and that will power your, your geospatial data analysis. There's a lot of, a lot of um, open source um, plugin. Um, and in terms of ArcGIS integration, right? Um, you know, ArcGIS Pro, you know, integrates pretty well with E3 products, right? Um, um, and, and if you are if you're an organization or working in an organization, if your organization has subscribed to other history products, so uh, in the ArcGIS ecosystem or ArcGIS Online and whatnot, the ArcGIS Pro integrates very well with other history products, um, but not as such, um, uh, you know, uh, to other, you know, open source plugins and whatnot, unlike QGIS. So, um, so integration, you know, QGIS, very much integrates with open source plugins um, and ArcGIS Pro, um, limited within the ArcGIS ecosystem, it, in, it, in, it integrates well with other history products. And the final point is, you know, platform compatibility, right? Um, so whether it's, you know, Mac or Windows, whatnot, Linux. So QGIS, is, you know, is available in multi-operating system, right? Um, so it is available in, in Mac uh, OS and it's available in Windows and also it's available in Linux. In terms of ArcGIS Pro, um, so ArcGIS Pro is primarily designed for Windows, uh, but you know, based on demand, user demand, Istri can provide solutions um, to run um, you know, ArcGIS Pro in, in a, a Mac uh, OS um, uh, operating system, but that's uh, uh, on demand. So the winner in terms of platform compatibility is QGIS here. Um, and so QGIS integrates well with, you know, Windows, Mac, and Linux, whereas ArcGIS Pro uh, just uh, for Windows. Uh, although there is some um, user support um, if based on, you know, user, user demand. Uh, for Mac uh, operating system. So overall, um, y you know, this information, um, in this six um, um, items that we've discussed will help you to make your your um, software choice, whether to, to go with ArcGIS Pro or QGIS for your project or your special analysis. 
um, 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 uh, you know, uh, project. So, um, and, and it's not like uh, one or the other, they have their own specific, you know, use cases, advantage, and so depending on your use case or uh, uh, interest, uh, you can make uh, uh, informed decision based on this.